playing Hitman Contracts. Using these tips will mean that you'll be able to get through without a scratch. The first thing I'm going to show you is how important it is to get the right clothing or uniform in order to get through a level. So this is the first level. As we go through to the, uh, the second floor after the asylum, you can see that you're going into an actual building. Now here, there's a whole lot of SWAT team, so you're going to need a uniform, but you don't want to alarm the security camera up in the corner. So what we're going to do is creep up, and we're taking the clothes from one of the patients, because uh, the SWAT teams won't attack the patients, but they will attack you if they see you just in your suit. Go through here. See, here's some uh, SWAT team guys here, and they're actually shooting at the uh, the people who work at the hospital, and they just ignore you. So, uh, if you get the right uniform, you can get past pretty much anything. The second thing I'm going to show you is um, how you can use parts of the environment in order to make your way through the game. Sometimes there'll be times where you'll need to get past someone and there's not actually a way you can get through without manipulating your surroundings. So in this example, there's somebody up in the room above us and they're taking a shower. So if we come down to this level and go to the furnace, we can turn the furnace off, which means that the person in the shower gets cold water all over them, so they come out. Once they're out, if we run around, side, climb up to the top level. This way we avoid them as they come down the stairs. We hop into here, pick up anything we need in this room. And now we can go into the room that they were in previously and get through it to the secret room behind it. And then eventually they'll turn back on the water and they'll come back in there. So if you didn't manage to get through that you'd have to go through the process again. But that's a really good way to avoid people, make sure that you can get through without arousing suspicion. The third thing I'm going to show you is how important it is to stay unnoticed. This is pretty obvious, and as we've already said, you know, you can, you can take uniforms to remain unnoticed, or you can avoid people by distracting them. But what you can also do, if for instance in this level, you can do really well in this uh, the sixth level, I think it is. If you get up to the top very quickly, you can go into the next room and kill a person who will make it a lot harder for you to finish this mission. Now, although you don't have to kill him by a silent method, because if you kill him with a couple of shots, that will arouse suspicion. But the most important thing is if you go through here and wait for him to come into your range of fire, now I've killed him, but even though there's a lot of noise, the most important thing is to walk. If you just keep walking, you can see the red bar will go up and down. But if you keep walking and make sure you stay out of sight or stay calm, people won't notice you. And that way, you can sometimes break, break the suspicion boundaries. So people may notice you, but if you keep walking, then they'll just ignore you and, uh, and that can get you out of a lot of sticky situations. This fourth point is, uh, is about the uh, sniper rifle, which um, is obviously uh, one of the most important weapons that you've got to remain uh, stealthy and to keep your distance from the target. Now the first thing to remember is that if you're going to use the sniper rifle, you need to make sure you're out of sight of anybody, because otherwise they'll see you obviously with a rifle pointed at somebody. Also, it's good to try and remain in dark, in shadows, behind uh, barriers or things like that. So in this room, um, on mission 8, I've taken out the lights in the room, just to make sure that the, uh, nobody can see me from outside, and I've unpacked the sniper rifle. Now, um, the trick is, you've just got to be very patient and wait for your target 
to appear. Now, as you can see, um, the view's bobbing up and down, and you can prevent that by ducking. But unfortunately, with this particular example, I can't duck because that would take me below the, uh, the level of the window, and I can't get any closer to the window because people will see me. So, if you leave it, just let go of the pad, slowly it will start to rock less and less until it's moving probably up and down about an inch. And once it's doing something like that, you can very delicately move the view until you, uh, you have your target in your sight. <laughs> have to wait. Okay, this is the guy we've, we've come here to hit. <coughs> now, of course, the most important thing, um, you only really have one shot. You've got a very limited amount of ammo. So if you wait for it to settle, centre on the head, and just wait until it bobs back down onto his head. The key to using your, um, to using your wire is obviously staying behind, staying out of sight, making sure that nobody's watching you while you're doing it, otherwise your cover will be completely blown. So in this example, we're trying to take out somebody who's on a balcony just along around the corner from us. Now if you use L1 to bring up the map, you'll be able to see that um, obviously everybody's got a circle which represents them and a line in that circle which represents where they're looking. So if you watch and make sure that you, you know the pattern that your target is using for his patrol or where he's walking, you can tell where he's looking. And then you've got to wait until the right moment. Now of course using the um, using the wire you need to be always holding L2 because that is the stealth button and it means that um, any movements you make will be noiseless. So nobody's going to turn around just as you uh, walk up behind. So as we can see this, the patrol man has just done his little walk. Now I know from using the map and watching him that that is the only little movement he makes for quite a long time. So I know that I've got a good amount of time to sneak up on him using the L2 button. Now obviously he's turned slightly towards me so I need to make sure that I hug the wall and go as slowly as possible so that I don't arouse his suspicion. Now if I select the fibre wire, the best trick here is if you press and hold the fire button, the hitman will actually prep the wire for use. And then once you're close enough, you just need to release it. And it'll pop up and uh, strangle the guy. And so that's how you do it, really. You just need to make sure that you're using the L1 button so you know where people are moving, what their regular movements are and that you're using the L2 button to sneak up and stay as far out of sight as possible and as quiet as you possibly can. That's basically it.